All right, well, raising a child with ADHD can be challenging, especially when their grades start to suffer. Yeah, but a child with this disorder can thrive in the classroom with a little extra help. Dr. Rebecca Manis is a founder of Ivy Prep Learning Center. She joins us now with tips to keep these students on track. Welcome back to the show. We're so glad you're here to talk Good about to see this. You. All right, so first off, what are some signs that your child may have ADHD? And also, more importantly, how to get them tested? Sure, so first of all, we know that attention is a trait, just like height. Mm -hmm. So just like we don't turn the light on or off for how tall a person is, we know that attention can be variable. Mm -hmm. And that's very important because kids, kids are growing and always changing. When a child has shown particular signs for six months or longer, mm -hmm. especially after age six, something like being fidgety in class, having trouble following directions, trouble organizing the room or materials, then it's cause for concern. Mm. So a lot of these um, kids are diagnosed with this at an early age when they're still growing and developing. So medication can be a tricky thing. Some people are against it. Some people actually do do it. Is it necessary or always necessary? So the research over the past 30, 40 years shows that medication can be a game changer for mm -hmm. about 80% of individuals. That stimulant helps get the system ready so that the individual then can learn and develop systems to manage those areas that are getting in the way. Now what happens if, if it goes untreated in childhood? I know some, some families or some school districts, they may not get a child tested and it goes untreated. Uh, what happens when they get to adulthood? Do they grow out of it or how, how does it resonate in an adult? So the research suggests that somewhere between 10 and 40% of people grow out of ADD. That depends on what criteria you use to think mm -hmm. about it. However, it's very important to get the children help early because we know that if children don't take care of it, then first of all, they're going to be turned off from learning. They can't mm -hmm. feel successful and have a good self-image in the classroom. Aside from that, they may develop other difficulties mm -hmm. such as depression or anxiety. And we also know that children with ADD, about a third of them have related learning problems. So taking care of the ADD enables them to then learn well. Talk a little bit more about that, the learning. What other impacts can ADHD have on a child's learning and their schoolwork and, and the grades? So children grow over time in their ability to manage their materials, sustain their attention, wait for when it's their time to speak. However, we know that there are definite shifts in what schools ask of children. For example, at about fourth grade, children aren't only focusing on decoding words, they have to be able to sit and absorb the material, or they need to start writing. Same thing in middle and upper school when the curriculum shifts and they need to adapt to different teachers. Mm -hmm. So it's particularly important that they have those self-management mm -hmm. skills to take charge. Yeah, I think it cannot be said enough how it affects a, a child with ADHD can be affected not only academically, but personally as well when you talk about it affecting their self-esteem. So you know, I know what are some uh, options for parents I know who may not be able to afford a tutor to make up for potential learning loss? First of all, there are great resources all around. As an example, I recently wrote a book for parents of kids who are doing just fine because one thing parents want to do is find themselves with other people who are resources who can help them figure out, is this a speed bump or do we really need to take charge? Aside from that, parents know best. So it's their responsibility and their right to request a formal team meeting at the school and to get executive function help to help the children organize and to look for other resources that the school can provide in-house. If we see that beyond the in-house services, other help is needed, then there are opportunities to do that right within the school or parents are entitled to actually ask a school to provide yeah. supplemental work if it's required for the child's mm -hmm. appropriate education. All right. Well, doctor, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. All right. And for more information or for tips to help students of all ages, you can follow Dr. Manis on Instagram at Ivy Prep Learning.